Don't lose me point. Oh, I've lost a few points, but not many. Right, undo that. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Up the tempo. That's it. Don't lose it. We're now ahead of schedule. We're ahead of schedule. This is very exciting. Uh, right, how far have we got to go? Oh, crumbs. Uh, hit the brakes. Or we're going to overshoot. And when you overshoot, you instantly fail the mission. Looks likely I could emergency brake it, but somehow I don't think it's going to... We've, over, we've overshot. We've overshot by a bit there. Um, yeah, oh, I was so excited about having beaten the time. What do you mean task failed? Oh, don't make me start the whole thing again. I'm hoping no one will notice if I just if I just slip it into reverse and just gently ease it back. Whether we that I I seem to recall, however, uh, that uh, that once you've uh, once you've hosed it, uh, that's you done, and you, you'll get a null score uh, unless you go out and do it properly. I don't want to do that first bit again. I've done it four times already. We'll just back it up. The passengers will be cool with it. I'll explain that, you know, I inadvertently overshot the station by about eight train lengths. They'll be fine. They're, they'll be relieved that we are, in fact, stopping there. There we go. Come on. Slow, 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 slow. No, that's the button that makes it go slow. Now, you, are you overshooting again? You are, aren't you? Wow. All right, okay, this train driving lark. Well, that's, uh, it's not for amateurs. That's why they put me in control. Uh, how's that? Are we largely in the station? We are largely in the station there. Right, we've stopped. Open the doors. People get off. People get on. Colwyn Bay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh... Had you go in there for a minute, didn't I? When you thought I wasn't going to stop at all. Turns out I did. Ha <laughs> uh, Anyway, I, uh, we'll, we'll go forwards again now. Uh, no, well, won't that be a surprise? Uh, and we're off. We're not quite off. But turn that off. There you go. And we're away. One minor operational slip up and I lose my job. Uh, so often is the case. Uh, anyway, where, where, what have we got next here? Uh, Abigaili and Pensan. It's probably not pronounced Abigaili, but that's a word. That's a that's a name that that sounds familiar to me. Uh, I'm probably wrong, uh, but uh, I don't really mind. Uh, clock's broken. Still thinks. Oh no, no, clock's not broken. It is actually five past seven. Oh, it's, it's about to change. Let's see if it's uh, if it's actually telling the right time. Because you know how it is. You set your watch and your phone, and it, it's telling the same time. It's like they know. Uh, anyway, right. Let's uh, let's get back on some uh, some fly past cam here. There's some more. There's a pier. Oh, I'd have advertised that to the passengers if I wasn't concentrating on not missing the station and then missing the station. Um, oh, other people might have chosen to get off. That's a, that's a pity. Uh, anyway, this is... It would be nice to do this in the sunshine, if I'm honest, rather than this miserable weather. There's a... One of my sister coaches there. Well, a double-decker bus. Uh, but it was in the uh, the magnificent turquoise livery of the uh, of the Arriva services. In fact, we might be able to see it out the window. I'll, I'll flick him the V's as we go past because he still owes me a tenner. Where are we? No. Awful lot of transit vans out today. Should be able to see him. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that that double-decker bus isn't isn't doing 60 along there because that looks like a 40 limit. Um, anyway, how far off are we? We've got another five minutes. Uh, now, despite having overshot the platform by some way, uh, we are only two and a bit minutes behind schedule. Uh, now I'm I'm good with this. In fact, we can uh, we can rip it up even more in a minute. I'm already at I'm already at max Q as far as. Hold on, what's this button? This button, if pressed, 
It's a button with words on it. I can't resist them. If this button is pressed, the units must then be separated. Or what? What happens? Uh, no, you can't press it. It's only it's not a real button. It's a it's a make believe button in a fantasy land. Uh, never mind. But you can't have a button with letters on it and and expect me not to press it. Right. What have I gotten wrong with the? Uh, hello. Uh, no, it's all fine. We're, we're doing fine here. Uh, look, let's see if I can't get these headlights on properly. Uh, daylight, uh, day head, and marker light. Marker lights only, which is not what we want. Well, I just want day head, presumably. Tail lights. Maybe, I don't know. Tail, tail lights? Exterior light? No, that's just this switch. Okay. Night head plus marker. Head, obviously, is headlights. There you go. Go on. Let's have a, uh, let's have a look at that. Uh, and see if that looks more like what I would anticipate. Alright, because we're in adverse drive. Oh no, no, you, you've just switched the other one on full beam. Meanwhile, here is the coast. Uh, the North Welsh coastline that we are following. There it is. It's, uh, it's out the window, look. Ain't she glorious? Can I open the window? I think we tried that already, didn't we? Uh, I possibly ought to ease it down a little bit before I get... Mind you, if I've already failed the mission, is it going to penalise me further for uh, exceeding the speed limit? Yes, is the answer to that question. Uh, right, let's ease it down a bit. How far have we got to go? We haven't got uh, two and a bit miles. I am now, I'm now burning points, which I'd sooner not do. I'd like to make, you know, some kind of gesture towards... Uh, trying to do this properly, uh, even though I may take uh, quite the laissez-faire uh, attitude towards the uh, uh, the gentleman's rules of the rail. Um, and it, you know, we want to take a vague stab at doing this uh, with some semblance of, uh, of realism. Uh, anyway, right. A couple more minutes to go. Let's, uh, let's fill the passengers in here. Hello, passengers. Uh, this is uh, this is the cockpit. Uh, we will shortly be arriving at uh, Abergaley and Pensarn. Uh, I advise you, if uh, this is where you uh, wish to get off, that uh, you may have to wait until I back it up into the station again uh, in order to do so. Uh, just purely because uh, I haven't quite got my braking distances down at the current time, but I'm I'm getting there. Uh, I assure you, if you're staying on longer, by the time I reach your pla your uh, your destination, uh, I may have figured it out. Meanwhile, I'm putting the brakes on. Nope, nope, nope. It's not going to do it. We've only got a third of a mile to go. Uh, I've, I mean, I've applied quite uh, quite the hectic level of brakes here, but I still think we're going to be going too fast, and we're going to sail through this ruddy station just like we did the last one. That said, if we make it in, we will have shaved a fair chunk of time off doing 30. This is good. Actually, we can possibly ease off on the brakes by a notch. I don't believe it. I got that right. I mean, I, I think we may have sacrificed some passenger comfort there with the uh, rather stern application of braking. But, uh, you know, we're coming in. Here we go. Let's look outside. Still going to crew? That's good. Open sesame. Get out. Come on, folks. Get in. Time's a wasting. I've got somewhere else to be in a minute. And, uh, well, it's more likely to be about seven minutes, I would imagine. But uh, either way, uh, get in the train. What's over there? Oh, that's the coast look. Hey. Smashing. Although, you know, not an awful lot to see out there. It is quite a grey day. All right, timeliness penalty, plus 79. That's a weird penalty when it gives you points. Anyway, let's, uh, let's engage that. Let's disengage this. And engage more of that. There we go. We're away. Whew, good stuff. Right, next we're coming into Rill. Uh, lovely Rill. 
uh, and we're now three minutes behind schedule because the passengers took too long to get off the ruddy train. Um, well, you know, so be it. Uh, you, you know, you, you, you can teach them to, to pick their own newspapers up. That's a good start. Uh, right, let's... Uh, have we got any changes to the speed coming up? No, I can just leave this... I'll, I'll just leave it flawed and we'll press some more buttons. Uh, oh, I want to... Uh, maybe the hang your head out of the window like a dog button, which I can only ever access from here because I can't remember what the actual button is. Let's do it. There we go. And the reason we like this one is because you can actually look around a bit. I'm a big fan of the hang your head out of the window like a dog button. Big fan. Good, good safety fence there in case uh, the Boulder Army uh, decides to invade the tracks, which is not what we want. Uh, let's hang our head out the other window. Much more sophisticated over this side. There's some caravans there. Look. Either that or they're, they're, they're. I mean, they are some very miserable porter cabins. Um, made doubly miserable by the fact that uh, the speed limit here is 85 so they are routinely going to I, I see I bet that's the cheap one right because you've got the car park right there you've got the train line here uh, I mean you've got to be some level of desperate to uh, to buy a holiday home uh, in North Wales next to a train line and a car park I would half suspect that they'd pay you to stay there uh, anyway what's this button do uh, we know this one already. I can do that one myself. Uh, whoosh. Uh, let's try uh, Let's try the next one. No. No, that's on board. We've done that. We've done this. Aerial bombardment cam. That's the Colonel cam. Right, let's, uh, let's make the most of it. So, in fact, uh, given that we're coming up on Rill, which is actually a, uh, a fairly well-known uh, destination for holiday makers... I mean, this is bleak, isn't it? I mean, it looks like it might be some kind of staging post for a future invasion of Cardiff uh, by an invading army of some description. Uh, none too subtle, obviously. They forgot to paint their wagons in, in camouflage. Uh, however, if, if we're good here... Oh, I, was, I, was, I was optimistic. I haven't, haven't quite mastered the Colonel Cam for this yet, but I do know where the afterburners are. Smashing. Tearing it up the coast here. Uh, right, what I want to do here is I want to position myself uh, like a young schoolboy uh, who has bunked off geography in the afternoon. We're going we're gonna to stand on the bridge and wave at the driver. Hello! Of course, the driver in question is me. Uh, right, okay, what have we got here? We've got uh, a minute and a half uh, before we arrive in Rill. Uh, uh, and uh, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling, feeling pretty good about life. Uh, right, okay, so we, we've got to slow down to 75 in half a mile. And then the, uh, the station itself is a third of a mile beyond that. Let's uh, let's start making that kind of preparation now, shall we? Uh, let's just put it in. What? I know. I d did you not see me slowing down? In fact, did you not see me just taking it out of gear? Was basically what we did. Yeah, there we go. Speeding penalty. Sorry, right. I've got it under control, Gov. Got it under control. But it's only a third of a mile to go. We're still doing seventy. The the likelihood of an overshoot is real. Okay, full service brakes. This is Captain speaking. Hang on to something. There we go. No, this one doesn't look quite as promising as the last one. If we do make it, we'll be right at the end of the... No, we're going to make it. It's going to be fine. Okay, cool. Uh, we can even... Do we want to ease off a bit? Yes, we do. Ease off some. There we go. We're going we're gonna to park this up in the ideal location. Which might not be here, but this will do. There we go. Brakes on. Three to four car stop. Well, we, we've got a six car stop. I guess it depends how you define car, really, because we've got we've got three sets of two. Hold on. One, two, three sets of two. I can count. There we go. Get off the train, please. Here we are in Rill, everybody. Uh, enjoy your holidays there, folks. 
Uh, looks like you're going to have a great time. Uh, those uh, those caravans. Mm -mm -mm. Wish I had one. Uh, yeah, forget going to uh, the the south of France. Uh, Rill in the rain. That's where I want. And if you could save me the one right next to the train line, I'd be awful grateful. Anyway, we're out of here. Uh, as soon as I do this, crank it up, crank it up. No, no, let's just use that. There we go. Yep. Now, I would uh, press random buttons to try and figure out what the brakes on and off are. I don't, I'm sure you know already. You don't need to tell me. Um, but last time I tried doing that, I took it out of gear. Couldn't get it back in gear again because I'd turned the train off. Oh, what a joker. Uh, anyway, right. What have we got next? Pristatin. Uh, Platform 1. Uh, just, uh, uh, that must be the, the Welsh spelling there, I suppose. Uh, in, uh, in not very long at all. And we are now 1 minute 45 seconds behind a schedule. Okay, well, that's not going to get any better because for some reason it believes you can accelerate out of Rill faster than this train can actually accelerate. Which I find to be just a little unjust. Unjust, maybe. How am I going to get there in... What have we got? We've got 3 minutes to get there. It's 3 miles, which means an average of 60 miles an hour. I can't see that working. I think that's a very optimistic piece of timing. Either that, or every service anybody gets in this area uh, is uh, is always late. That, I can believe. Unrealistic train timings. Better to have the train wait for a little while at the station and be on time every time, I find. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at the window. There's some, there's some lovely looking bungalows over there, and uh, meanwhile, no, we've still got two and a bit miles to go. It's, uh, let's uh, have, a bit of a, have a bit of a swim along the side here. Yeah, there's, there's me. Uh, here I come. Ready? Hello, ladies. Uh, right, uh, speaking of which... We've got passengers on board. And yet, when I go sit back there, these people are not nowhere to be seen. See, we're, we're here. Lamenting his faithful hound. Staring at the caravans of Rill. Uh, Madam Headband's still on the train. Hillary Clinton, she's still here too. Uh, but I don't, I'm not even entirely sure which carriage am I in. I mean, I'm not in first, obviously. But uh, this table's mighty clean. Um, right, okay, let's prep for, the, uh, for our next piece of action. Uh, we've got a... Hold on. We've got uh, a mile and a half to Prostatin. Uh, and we're going to want to... Uh, we're going to want to make this one look relaxed and professional. The two words I live by. Hello, passengers. Uh, this is the uh, the flight deck speaking. Uh, we're we're shortly going to be arriving into Prostatin, uh, which is which is basically down the road from Rill. Uh, I'm going to start slowing down in good time for this one, despite the fact that the, the last couple of stops I've, I've actually done a halfway decent job, even if I have had to apply the brake quite sternly to make that happen. Uh, Anyway, uh, get your belongings together and uh, please be sure to, uh, to tell your friends that you were riding on Arriva trains and you were revered in a very good mood indeed, uh, as I believe they pronounce it in these parts. Do not put the emergency brake on. There we go. Anyway, uh, if you've already stood up, I apologise for you now lying on the floor, uh, but... Uh, but my running commentary there appears to have taken my eye off the ball and, uh, and once again we're applying the brakes in full as we come into the station. Uh, I don't do it deliberately, I assure you. Um, but uh, if we want to stop without failing the entire mission in one go, which I hasten to ask, we already have, hasten, hasten to mention. Um, anyway, get off the train. Right, let's have a quick look at, uh, at Prostatin uh, as, uh, as we uh, hang around waiting for the passengers to do their thing. 
This is this is quite good, isn't it? There's some modernization happened here. Uh, what's that over there? I wonder. Have we got time to go for a quick uh, a quick Colonel Cam uh, tour of the facilities? There we go. Yes, uh, we we probably have. Uh, let's use the right buttons. That's always beneficial. Yeah, you have the car park for this industrial unit over there. Anyway, everybody's on board. We're off. Uh, right, power up. No, that's reverse. Ah, okay. Don't want reverse. That's okay. That's the reverser button, which is right next to the accelerator button. Dangerous, uh, but uh, we like to live on the edge. Let's go. Come on. Come on, this is an 85 speed limit here. We are now 5 minutes 15 seconds behind schedule. I find that hard to believe, given the amount of time that I spend speeding. Uh, but there it is. Uh, it's now 14 miles to Flint, uh, Platform 1. Uh, which, if, if my understanding of Welsh is correct, uh, should be pronounced Vlint. Because it's double F. No, single F is pronounced V. Double F is pronounced F. I may have to look that up, or you may like to correct me. Uh, either one, it's E Flint is where we are next. Uh, uh, you know, I know a thing or two, uh, and we'll be there in a few minutes. Uh, meanwhile, let's uh, let's enjoy the uh, enjoy the scene. Oh, I just just mentioned that. Now, I can't help but notice, given the uh, the number of things that Wales is uh, is famous for, that so far there has been a disappointing lack of sheep in the countryside. Uh, I want to see uh, a fully modelled, AI-controlled, uh, machine-learning sheep out there grazing uh, authentic digital grass in real time. Okay, uh, it's not too much to us. Actually, we might see some sheep, because we saw cows when we were going from Crewe to Chester. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, there'll be a special prize for anybody who, uh, or rather, no, not for anybody. Uh, so they're carried away. The first person who spots a sheep, uh, special prize. Don't have special prizes. Might not even have a special prize, but it's the kind of thing you say to, uh, to up your view and engagement. Anyway, uh, here we go. Try to get on. Is that still the coaster? Looks like it. Uh, if we if we take to the skies, no, the uh, the orbital bombardment camera can't spot it. These aren't more caravans, surely? My goodness me, Wales! Uh, I, I I mean, I'm impressed with your tourist board. Frankly, you've sold people a heck of a lot of caravans for what is, uh, if uh, if this is in any way accurate, really quite a grim experience. I mean, there's some big ones there as well. You probably told someone it was luxury uh, and then failed to mention that uh, uh, an Arriva train's diesel would be, uh, would be rattling past on a regular basis. Uh, potentially ruining your, your holiday while you sat in your caravan waiting for the rain to stop playing boggle. Um, what was that noise? Why? No. Oh, I was making I was making jokes about boggle and the emergency brakes applied itself because I missed the flipping speed limiter. Uh, we're going to have to stop. Uh, hello passengers. Sorry. Me again. Um, yeah. Apologies. I was... Uh, I was remarking on the state of caravans in Wales in that way that one does, and I failed to observe that the speed limit had dropped from 85 to, or I don't know how fast I was going actually, from whatever I was doing uh, to whatever I was supposed to be doing, and therefore the emergency brake applied itself, and now I've got to wait till we stop, and then I've got to turn it all back on again. Do that. Uh, that's already activated. Do this. Off we go. Off we go. There we go. Apologies. Anyway, as I was saying, or not as the case may be. Uh, right, okay, how, how far have we got? Still got another 10 miles to go. Hello, 
Hello passengers, this is your captain speaking. Uh, if you'd like to look out of the port side window, hold on, uh, yes that is port, uh, the port side windows, you will see we're properly close to the sea now. And uh, the sun is shining on it from somewhere. Uh, where are we? 7.29 in the morning. Now you see, it looks like the sun's coming from that direction. In fact, the sun appears to have been replaced by a spotlight. I can't... And it, I am somewhat foxed by the, uh, the sun's direction at this point. Uh, however, it's out there somewhere and it's, it's shining a light uh, in that way that you would want it to do. Uh, anyway, this is, uh, this is jolly nice, isn't it? Uh, there's some... Uh, hop over the top. Uh, there's some marshy fern type activity going on there uh, as we uh, as we go alongside the uh, the A. That's going to be an A, isn't it? Not a B. Uh, yeah, okay, another chance for a special prize here, team. Tell me what road this is, and uh, I will be suitably impressed. I will check your answers, and no using Google Maps. That's just cheating. I want local expertise from local people. Um, because uh, what else is there? Here's some, here's some docks. I'm coming in a flint. Now, I wasn't aware of a major dock in this area. But then, as, as maybe you've picked up on my, uh, my knowledge of, uh, of geography in, uh, in Wales, it's not, it's not all that. I ought to spend more time there, really. I think the only time I've been to Wrexham... To Wrexham. There you go. Wrexham. That's, that's about as close to Wales as I've come. Uh, as in, not in Wales. Uh, or is, is Wrexham in Wales? I might drop the Wrexham section. I I'm pretty sure it's pretty close to Wales. I'm not even sure I've been to Wales. Oh no! That's insane! Surely I have. Sorry? I've been to Wales. Wrexham is, it turns out, in Wales. Thank you very much, my agent there advising me that uh, that Wrexham is in Wales. Thank thank the Lord for that. I, I'd, I'd have to go there immediately if I'd never been. If only to apologise. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, meanwhile, I don't know why we're going so slowly. Maybe if I ease it down some. Right. Because we appear to be on the on the flattened level here, and then rip it back up again. This doesn't seem to be an uphill section, but we do seem to be struggling to muster any kind of uh, any kind of speed at all. You know, not that high speed is something that I crave. You understand? It's it's more that uh, we've got time to make up here, and we're not going to be doing it while we are languishing at 49 miles per hour in a 75. Uh, right, how far have we got it? Six miles to go. Oh, look at this! It's a it's a shipwreck! There's a, there's a shipwreck here. Uh, nope, that's a worse view. We're going to view from outside. And the train's coming in the opposite direction. It's all go! What do you look at? Do you look at this Voyager, which also doesn't seem to be going very fast? Uh... I mean, that looks like it's a deliberate ship, right? It looks like it's just, it's positioned there for the tourists. Uh, one would imagine the occasional bus tour would swing by, and there's a, there's a gift, uh, gift shop where the, uh, where the anchor used to be kept. Uh, in the, uh, in the anchor storage cupboard. Uh, right, okay, we've still got five and a bit miles to go to get into Flint. And, uh, and given how long they've made us wait to get there, and it's, 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 it's quite a long way away, and how this, this poor little diesel is, is struggling. I've got it at maximum speed here, and, and we're, we're getting nothing. If I was a passenger, I would be almighty frustrated at the, uh, at the level of grunt on display. Maybe the windscreen wipers are slowing us down. I mean, they're going to be creating some air friction. I can't expect. It doesn't look like we're going uphill. See, usually if you're going uphill, you get some kind of line indicating a, a shift in altitude. Uh, and since we have been more or less at sea level the entire time, I posit that we are not going uphill. Oh, yeah, ruthless deduction going on there. Um, you know, 
it's, it's, it's all jolly green. Still no sign of sheep. Certainly that I... Uh, certainly I haven't seen any. Uh, bitterly disappointed. Hold on, hold on. What have we got? No, just cows. No, I'm over cows. No, can't be bothered with them. No, all they do is eat and move. Uh, where are we? Hollyhead. Hollywell? Surely not Hollywell. Hollyhead. Let's go have a look. I'll try and take care of myself for a minute. Uh, Holly. Holy, maybe. Holywell. Okay. Holywell Junction. Grand. And it is a junction. I wonder where else you can get to from here. This and other ponderings. Later. Right, back on board. Uh, right, good, excellent. Three, uh, three point nine of your miles until we uh, until we arrive gloriously into Flint Station, uh, where uh, where I believe we will hit the the handover point between parts one and two of this particular scenario. Of course, there is a very real chance that uh, I'm going to get no no result from this one, having overshot one platform. Uh, you know, they, they call me Colonel Overshoots the Platform Failure. Uh, that's, that's what they know me as in the uh, Arriva Driver's Lounge. Uh, goes too fast, slows down too slowly, then applies the emergency brake failure. That's, that's my name. Uh, meanwhile, here's another road. What do we got going on on this one? Okay, let's play Name That Car. That is probably... Can get these trees out of the way. Okay, that looks like it could be a BMW. Or, no, it's not a BMW. That's a, that's a... It could be like a Vauxhall Insignia. Something like that. And obviously being rinsed by a Ford Transit. Uh, in that way that uh, everyone is. That's a Range Rover. Is it a regular one or is that an Evoke? Couldn't tell. Depends if they were dropping the kids off at school or not, in which case it was an evoke. Uh, oh, no, 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 traffic spotting still go. Actually, this uh, this transit that's uh, that's giving it the beans uh, isn't actually going that fast. He's only doing 50, same as me. And these lot, they're driving very slowly for an A road. Um, Clearly, the, uh, the drivers of Wales are, are most careful and, uh, and respectful vis-a-vis -vis, uh, driving laws. Uh, anyway, right, what have we got? I'm going to switch views up here. Hold on, I need to press this button because I'm going to hang my head out the, side of the, out the side of the train in that way that they recommend you do in driver school. Uh, right, okay, so we got, we're not actually far from Flint, and, and to be honest, this, is a, this, this, this particular camera view is a luxury I can't afford to keep up from that long road and I need to check where we are. Possibly let the passengers know that they should be uh, assembling their luggage and sundry items. Uh, where are Oh, hello. That's the, this is the task list. And in fact, we will, we'll take this opportunity to see how much I have got left to do. Pick up passengers from Flint and then pick up passengers from Shotton. We've got one more stop. Flint, then Shotton. Right you are. Uh, right, uh, turn the instrumentation back on, because I need it. Mile and a half to go. Hello passengers, uh, this is your driver speaking. Uh, if you'd be so kind, uh, well only if, actually, let me start that again. If you've got intentions to get off at Flint, get your stuff together, uh, your luggage and I suggest sundry items should now be gathered uh, ahead of your imminent departure from the train. Uh, if you're lucky, I will stop by the platform. If not, and since I'm running a little late this morning, I will uh, I will merely open the doors and uh, and slow down a bit for you. And uh, good luck with that. Anyway, thank you for travelling on Arriva trains. Uh, it's been my pleasure to service you this morning, um, and uh, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Uh, possibly ought to be slowing down a bit more. Here we go again. Um, I can't even see the platform. I should be able to see it from here. They, hold on. That wasn't the platform. 
you you got momentarily confused there that was just a, uh, a signal right that's the platform you still got half a mile to go we don't want to crawl at 20 miles per hour all the way to the flipping station up the tempo there we go oh, you made a hash of that i thought that was good that was looking quite good there for a moment uh the uh, the lack of a platform should have been a giveaway and in fact was after you identified what it was that you had missed there. Hello, passengers, this is Captain again. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. False alarm. Uh, we're not quite there, but we will be in a mo. So, uh, once again, sundry items, luggage, and so forth. Uh, please gather it up uh, along with your uh, kiss me quick souvenirs from Rill that I'm sure you are currently sporting if you're making your way back from your holiday of choice. Anyway, we're coming into platform uh, one of them. Uh, platform one, there we go. Uh, here in uh, in Flint. Uh, and I will endeavour to stop uh, in such a way that you don't get rained on when you get off the train because nobody wants that. How's it look? How's it look? Have we got a full train in the station? No. Let's do it properly. We're not going to be on time, but let's uh, let's make it so people can get off in the right place. And also, it would be good for me to properly identify the marker that I'm actually aiming for. Uh, I'll need to hang my head out the window here to have a quick look. Turn, turn that down. So that's a four to five car stop. This is a six car train. That won't be a six, surely. That'll be an S. Uh, an eight is what I was going to say, but it looks like an S from here. It is an S. That's why. Okay. All right. So that's got no bearing on me whatsoever. Put the brakes on. We've overshot just a smidge, but, you know, that's acceptable. Someone should have a word with this young lady or, you know, potentially buy her an umbrella. She casts quite the imposing shadow, however. I mean, this is, uh, you know, film noir levels of shadow going on there as, as another lady there glides past. One ought to put this into black and white. In fact, I may do that. She was there, waiting at the end of the platform, in the rain, in her summer dress. Who knows why? She wasn't waiting for this train, but the train she was waiting for was clearly late as she glanced at her watch. Shifting from foot to foot, uneasily. Should have bought better shoes. We're out of here. Right, uh, let's, uh, let's turn that off. No, no, let's get my face in the right place. That off. Thank you. This maximum maximum there we go and we're away once more right goodbye mystery lady see look this is what i mean see I'm, i've currently got owl head uh, meanwhile there's more buttons I, none of these will do anything you need you need some train sim world if uh, if the agitation of buttons is your thing uh, for those of you who haven't seen me driving the uh, uh, the, the CSX route uh, uh, do so uh, if uh, if you've been enjoying this caper so far because uh, there's another one and, uh, and I'm just as competent um, but yeah it has got all the buttons you can press and I love it anyway max speed 90 what else have we got going on here this is clearly quite an old train all of the safety stickers and stuff they're all they're all faded and uh, so forth. Right, okay, we're coming up on Shotton, which is where we finish off uh, this first section of the route. Uh, we will pick the route up for the remainder of the journey uh, presently. Uh, but uh, there, there we go. Right, now then, we shouldn't be that far away. Well, ETA is in four minutes' time. Okay, oh, we've still got three, three and a bit miles to go. Well, we can soak in some more scenery then. Let's, uh, let's do that. There we are. Yeah. Uh, now, what's this helicopter cam? Do I have control over the helicopter cam? Only to a degree. And to be honest, this is a very low uh, helicopter cam. 
when I get off work, I'm going to go play some snooker. Uh, and then, what's the other one then? Helicopters come from the other side. But we do get to see everyone who's on board. This chap is jolly tall. Uh, actually, this guy and his brother are also quite tall. Are they the same height, though? Inquiring minds want to know. No, this fella... Oh, no, not again. What? Actually, I didn't get a tip-off for that one. You can't say I did something wrong. Unless I went faster than 90. And because I wasn't paying due care and attention, I can't rule that out. Flipping it. You see, you get distracted by uh, by looking at the passengers, which is admittedly not what I'm paid for. Uh, and then you you have to stick the emergency brake on again. You bump, you burn a bunch more points, which obviously you're not going to get to keep because uh, uh, because you already fluffed the mission earlier on. Come on, come down. There we go. Right. Put it in first. That's off. This is off. Put it on. There you go. Get us underway. Come on. Two and a half miles to go. I must have exceeded 90 by a fair chunk there. Why are we still stopped? We shouldn't be stopped. I've got it in first. And release the brake. There it is. Right. Good, 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 good. I thought I'd I'd triggered some kind of mystery uh, mystery error there. Uh, let's put that back over there because that makes a difference. Uh, that's in case the Mysterons want to get in touch. And this one is, uh, is obviously because uh, I'm the Manchurian candidate and they may need to trigger me at a moment's notice. Uh, right. Let's, uh, let's stop with this. Let's get some glamour shots going here. It's unlikely that I'm going to exceed 90, surely. Again, it's, a, it's not showing me any, any change in elevation. Although maybe that's a transcend world thing. Maybe I have been spoiled by the next generation. Uh, and that uh, I just need to pay a little bit more attention to my instruments. Uh, particularly when I've got the, the, the low life... Uh, uh, oh, I see you're new here. Instrumentation panel up. What? Whoa! What? Uh, what view is this we've gone for? Oh, I see. There we go. We're in the tunnel. We just we just poked ahead in the top there. That's fair enough. Uh, good. Right. What do we got? Two miles to go. Uh, what else? We, what else should we have a look at? Uh, we're back in here. Anybody got off yet? Insert joke about his dog. Headband. Clinton. There it is. Uh, she does have she does have a, a rather spectacular hair doing that lady. Uh, anyway, right. There is a whole lot of, uh, of electrical electrical pylons going on here, and um, one would imagine they lead to uh, well that, frankly, a, a rather magnificent substation. But uh, I, was, I, was, I was half expecting it to be a power plant of some kind, in which case we would have gone and had a poke around in the, the mile and a half that we've got before we, uh, we come into Shotton. Uh, now then, I have driven out of Shotton at least twice, and if I recall correctly, there is a very slow corner on the way in. Or am I getting confused? can't rule out either of these things, uh, but we'll, we'll find out in a, in a moment or two. Now, is that an estuary or is that a lake they've got going on there? It's the estuary, and there's a bridge. Splendid. Uh, can we zoom out some more? This would make for quite a nice tracking shot, you know. But actually, I need to be paying attention. Uh, right, we're coming into shot and low level platform one. Hello passengers, this is your pilot. Uh, we will shortly be arriving in Shotton, I hope, uh, where this train will suspend operations for about a week 
uh, before picking it back up again for part two of this journey to Crewe, uh, which I know that many of you are quite desperate to get to, for all trains go to Crewe. Well, this one does in about a week. Um, apart from the trains that are leaving Crewe, like the last one that we did, uh, anyway, uh, concentrate. Let's do at least one of these properly. Right, a third of a mile to go. We're doing 40. This is well within my ability to control. Uh, let's, let's step one it and see if that's having an impact. It's not. Step two. That's the one. That's the way. That's good. There you go. Thank you for travelling with Arriva Trains today. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, if you would, uh, if you would like to purchase a season ticket, please hit the subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss out on the next uh, service, such as it may be. And uh, uh, be sure to uh, to put your rubbish on the like button until it is fully depressed before you leave the train today. Uh, I've been your pilot. Uh, my name is Colonel Failure. I will catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Yeah, please tell me I'm in the right place. Like a boss. Open the doors. It's not opening the doors on these ones. Why? Oh, look, I am perfectly parked here. Oh, look. I mean, you could not do that better if you tried. Right up against the sign. That was a flipping flawless victory. I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.